Well, it's a hot topic issue in Miami-Dade and Broward counties, how to solve South Florida's growing problem with trash. Indeed, so one proposal is to build a new waste management site at the old Opelaka West Airport off of US-27, but the mayor of Miramar is saying not so fast. He's raising concern over Miami-Dade potentially dumping its trash in Broward County's backyard, and joining us this morning is, in fact, Miramar Mayor Wayne Messon. Good morning, Mayor. Thanks for being with us today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Okay, so let's talk about this in whole. This is not just an incentive that they want to move from Doral to Broward's backyard, essentially. It's an entire campus that they want to build there by, um, what is it, the Okeechobee Road and Chrome Avenue right there. It's on the border in Miami, but it affects Broward residents. So help us understand what this does for your residents in Miramar. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, you're talking about the potential impact to tens of thousands of Miramar residents. Um, the proposed site, which has been designated as the preferred site by the mayor's report, is only 0.8 miles right on our back door. Mm -hmm. um, solid waste is a very important issue for not only Miami-Dade County, but for Broward County as well. So that solution should not impact our residents. Um, we have no vo vo um, voice, we have no vote in this process. We are in opposition um, to this. Um, the planned um, mass burn facility poses um, grave um, risk, not only to our residents, and uh, the, the tragedy is that there is no technical data that supports why this is the best site for a mass burn facility. So we are opposed to this, and we're asking that the Miami-Dade County Commission evaluate all of your options. This would be over a billion dollar investment for Miami-Dade County taxpayers, and the decision is being made to, to prioritize a site that is on wetlands, mm -hmm. it's on our back door, it's across the street from the Everglades National Park, while there are other alternatives within Miami-Dade County that is far away from residents that could potentially um, be a part of right. the solution for Miami-Dade County. So we spoke to Miami-Dade County Commissioner J.C. Bermudez. I mean, he lives in Doral, close to this facility. He's been dealing, it with, dealing with it for a long time. We want you first to take a listen to what he had to say about all of this. There's no residents around there. The closest thing, I believe, is a cemetery. There are some businesses out there, you know, truck parking and other things. So, but it wouldn't be something that would impact, uh, you know, uh, the residents. And the land is not necessarily anything that, uh, you know, environmentally would be problematic. People are keep on moving to South Florida, so we're going to keep, we're going to have to continue to deal with this. We have to be intelligent about making a long-term decision. So what's your reaction to hearing him say that? I mean, you're saying 0.8 miles from you all. I, what, do, what do you have to say in response? Well, I know um, Commissioner Gomez, we've been colleagues when he was a former mayor of Doral. I have a lot of um, respect for him as a, a politician. However, I have to take exception to this. Um, the, the issue is that Miramar in our community has existed for decades. Now you're bringing a nuisance to our back door. The incinerator in Doral is totally different, where urban um, suburban migration moved around that facility. Um, I would um, I would challenge the county to really look at this site. Um, it not only is um, is 400 acres, but only 39 of those 400 acres are buildable. Mm -hmm. They would have to have significant mitigations and uh, environmental approvals to build on wetlands that potentially could have endangered species and natural resources that could be impacted. I want to touch on, Mayor, something that you said, and it's very important here. The Doral facility, the incinerator there, that was built first. Then residents started moving around it. That was a choice. This is Miami-Dade. While it is on their property in Miami-Dade County, they are bringing it to Broward to residents in your city, which is not where they decided to build around. That is not their choice. So what kind of voice, what kind of power do you have? Because we had the chairman on uh, about a week and a half ago, and he said, oh, no, they're not powerless. They have a voice. But you don't have a vote in this. So what can you do? We don't have a voice, but we will be in opposition at every regulatory permit process. We have legal recourse. We have recourse as it relates to the EPA. Um, the tragedy in all of this is that I was not contacted. The city of Miramar was not contacted. This decision and this report was based on studies and sites solely within Miami-Dade County. No assessment had been done on impacts north or south of Miami-Dade County. So the city of Miramar, we are not only prepared, but we are informed and we are ready and already beginning the process to get involved in the public comment and public objection period of any process. Mm -hmm. And I'll end with this. Uh, Miami-Dade 
county residents and the county commission has to decide how they're going to pay for this. In the mayor's report, they are depending on 30% of this being financed by tax credits um, as a result of the Infrastructure Jobs Act. Um, they have to start construction by 2025. There's a very short period, and right. we will stand in the gap to be able to delay mm -hmm. this process to protect our residents. I yeah, go ahead. yeah, I was just going to ask really quickly. You know, I spoke to Commissioner Bermudez, and he said he was willing to discuss this with Broward. I know you guys have a trash problem, too. You're planning on building a facility as well. Would this be something that you would be, you know, welcome to discuss with the commission and come up with some sort of joint plan? Yes, and, and to the credit, to all of the commissioners, the mayor, the chair, who I've all spoken to, they realize that there is a potential for a regional solution. Mm -hmm. Miramar, we're not saying that the proposed preferred site cannot play a part in the solution, but we just don't want a mass burn facility that will omit and um, or emit um, just all types of um, um, carcinogenic matter that may be in the air. It may not be seen. It may not even be smelt. The proponents may say that newer technologies are safer, but what I would say is that ask the residents of Miami Beach, Doral, Miami Gardens, Pinecrest, or even Miami Beach, if this facility was built in their neighborhood, would they accept it? Right. If it's not safe enough for those communities, it's definitely not safe enough for our backyard. But it's actually a two-pronged problem because you have Miami-Dade wanting to do an incinerator there, and five miles down the road, Broward County wants to build an incinerator nearby as well, which would affect your residents. So there's a lot well, going on. Well, there's a difference. There has not been a formal proposal in Miami-Dade, in Miami in Broward, Broward County for a facility. Um, Broward County has a yeah. commitment for 75% recycle, and we have sites to consider. However, okay. no site is impacting Miami-Dade County residents. Got it. Mayor, I, we would love to continue this discussion, <laughs> but uh, we're simply out of time. We do appreciate you being Thanks here this morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much.